the protagonists of True Detective. Night Country have been devoting the last six weeks to solving two unsolved mysteries. The murder of Annie Cowdock that occurred years ago and the recent murders of nearly the entire scientific team at the Tsawal Research Station. In the series finale, Jodie Foster and Kali Rise's investigators Liz Danvers and Evangeline Navarro become stuck at Sal in the midst of a snowstorm and encounter a lot of strange things while there. Still, in the end, Liz and Navarro find out the truth about Annie Kay and those seemingly innocuous scientists from Sal Research Station. Did you know who murdered Annie Kaldock? Navarro and Liz find a path back to a subterranean lab under the Tsawal Research Station after exploring the ice caves near Anise, Alaska. After an ill-fated stint of hiding out in Tsawal's underground lab following the deaths of his fellow scientists, Raymond Clark, Annie Kay, S. X. boyfriend, is ultimately captured by the authorities. He is bound to a chair and interrogated by the two until he divulges the truth about Annie Kay and the events of the night T. Slala's scientists were transported to the ice. After enduring some mental anguish, Clark admits that he and his colleagues were actually probing the permafrost surrounding Annie's for the DNA of a microscopic creature with the potential to save the world. It dawned on the scientists that they might achieve the same result, but only if the permafrost kept melting due to the contaminants released by the Silver Sky Mining Operation. The Tsao group then started pressuring the mine to ramp up its pollution levels, a move that has devastated Anise's population. Annie, a green activist, uncovered Clark and Co. S. Subterranean Lab and what they were up to. Dorstein Bachmann's Anders Lund brutally assaulted her, stabbing her numerous times with a lab-found star-pointed instrument, after she vehemently destroyed all of the items they had gathered in an angry outburst. Annie was viciously attacked by Lund and the other scientists working for Tsao, and Clark, after a brief attempt to save her, gave up and murdered her. Following their assassination, the scientists requested that Silver Sky take care of the cleanup. In reaction, Silver Sky dispatched John Hawks's Hank prior to find a new home for Annie's remains, who massacred the scientists from Tsao, the ghost of the night country, according to Raymond Clark, murdered his fellow researchers. On the other hand, he's wrong. Navarro and Liz find a unique fingerprint on the hatch leading to the Tsao underground lab. This leads them to believe that Blair Hartman, played by Catherine Wilder, the woman Navarro rescued from her violent husband in the pilot episode of Night Country, may have more information about the station's scientist's disappearance than she's been telling. B. Blair's ferocious guardian and co-worker is also there when they pay her a visit at her house. B tells the story of how she stumbled onto Tsao's subterranean laboratory while cleaning the station in her dining room. She discovered instruments that may create the puncture wounds seen on Annie's body during her investigation. Annie and many of her female co-workers and cleaners at Anise's workplace stormed the Tsao research facility after discovering that the scientists there were complicit in Annie's death. Backstory flashes Shobi, Blair, and a slew of other women who have been lurking about night country for a while cutting electricity to Tsao and forcing its scientists into a transport truck while holding guns to their heads. B admits that she and her colleagues coerced the Tsao men into disrobing and walking naked into the icy landscape that encircles Annie's. She reasoned that the night country could wish to punish the guys for what they did to Annie because they didn't make it. In light of this new information, Liz declares that she would officially uphold Ted Connolly's claim, according to which the Tsao scientists were killed in a rare slab avalanche, therefore clearing B, Blair, and their accomplices of charges. B tells Navarro she didn't leave Annie's severed tongue at Tsao for the cops to locate when Navarro follows up with the question. Though fleeting, it raises the intriguing idea that a supernatural force was behind the decision to reopen the murder inquiry into Annie's death by Navarro and Liz. Liz and Navarro, where are they now? Liz and Navarro finally get to the bottom of the two riddles that have been haunting them throughout the season during their spur-of-the-moment visit to Tsao, and they also have some unexpected emotional release. Navarro connects with the ghost via her paranormal experiences, and the latter seems to provide her with the solace she has sought her whole life. In the meantime, Liz begins to accept her son's death from a long time ago when Navarro delivers a message from his spirit. The Night Country finale's epilogue reveals that no one ever located Hank's death, and that Navarro stepped away from the Annie's police department in the spotlight after she and Liz resolved the cases involving Sal and Annie Kay at that point. She left Clark with a confessional tape that Liz later exposed to the public, in which Clark detailed the harm that Sal and Silver Sky's mine had inflicted on Annie's. A number of brief scenes follow, implying that Liz's relationship with her stepdaughter Lee has started to improve, and that Peter Pryor's relationships with his wife and son have begun to heal in the months following their family unit was almost torn apart. The mine was shut down soon after. At the end of True Detective, Night Country, Liz says, this is Anise, in response to inquiries regarding Navarro's disappearance. Nobody ever truly goes. Accompanying her message is a photo of her and Navarro relishing a peaceful time by a lake. Like many other True Detective seasons, this one concludes with Night Country returning to the central connection. The most crucial part is that the season finale shows that it is possible to overcome adversity if one is ready to look inside and accept responsibility for their actions. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.